Hey, this is day three of our 21 day fast. I don't know about you, but I've been having a great time on the fast. It's uh, made me think about a lot of things. As a matter of fact, I had a dream, uh, I believe it was last night or night before last, where I was walking by a mall and there was a big sewer opening there. And the sewer was saying, the sewer was talking to me and the sewer said, feed me. I don't know what that was about, but anyway, I had a great day. I uh, want to read a passage of scripture that speaks to uh, the purpose of prosperity. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 through 8 says this, Now I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do just as he is purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. The Bible seems to indicate, it doesn't seem to indicate, it actually indicates in that verse, as well as other places, that the reason God gives us material wealth is not so we can hoard it, not so we can have more stuff, but so that we will be in place to be able to be a blessing to other people, so that we will be uh, positioned for every good deed. Uh, my professor uh, today, uh, Dr. Perry Downs, as he was teaching, he was talking about and sharing his testimony about how uh, he and his family have, um, over the years, had about 30 different foster children. And he, he talked specifically about the fact that when he got this position at uh, Trinity Evangelical Divinity School, it came along with it came a significant bump up in his salary but he and his wife decided instead of to moving up to a higher level of a higher standard of living they decided to move laterally that is to keep the same size house that they had when he had the lower income and because of that it freed them up it freed up a lot of money for them to be able to uh, deal with foster children and sponsor children through compassion uh, international and various other relief agencies. So I was very struck by that and it made me think about how much stuff have I wasted or how much debt have I gotten into that had I been more disciplined I could have been a bigger blessing to other people. The Bible says God is able to make all grace abound toward us but the end result is so that we'll be ready, we'll be equipped, we'll be in position for every good deed. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but I, I want to help people but I'm tapped out because of all the stuff that I'm trying to maintain. So I want to challenge you, even as I've been challenged today, to be generous. We're learning how to be prosperous, not so we can shine, not so we can floss, not so we can show everybody you know, how big we are. We're learning how to be prosperous so we can be more generous. God bless you and hope you had a great day today too. Uh, let me know how it's coming for you as it relates to this fast.